Hi, I'm Mike James. I've been in the ITIL, SIAM and ITSM space for well over 25 years. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, hit the bell. I also update videos on a regular basis. So let's get to it. Today I'm going to be talking about the service value chain, but specifically looking at a value stream. So it's all well and good having the, the understanding of the, the, the pie dot in terms of your, your planning and, and your improving and your engaging and your uh, uh, delivery and support and the design and transition and uh, obtain and build. But in practice, how do you actually do a value stream? So this short video will just talk through a real case example of, of how would that work? What, what would that look like? So this particular example, it, it's, a, it's a fictional example of um, a person is trying to use a piece of software and for whatever reason, maybe it's a bug or, or there's some kind of issue with the software, it, it doesn't allow the, the, the user to be able to complete that, that task. So if, if we then think through the service value chain, the, the demand piece is, is exactly that. Someone's trying to use a, a piece of software, maybe they're trying to edit something or, or add something, for what, whatever reason, it's not working. So that's your demand piece. So then if you think that through, the, the, the person in question, they may phone a service desk, as an example, and, and they would call the service desk, they would phone up and they would say, hey, look, I've got a problem with this piece of software, this is what I'm trying to do, they describe what they're trying to do, and then the agent on the service desk would look at things like prioritizing, logging, categorization of that incident, but then also setting some kind of expectation around a resolution time. So perhaps that's a, a P4, a priority four issue, or perhaps it's a P3, each organization is different. But that ticket is then logged within, within the, the service management tool. So that's your engage, that's your engagement bit. And from a practice perspective, the practices involved there, as you quite imagine, would be incident management and service desk management. So then if we follow this, this particular case on in a little more, more detail. So perhaps the, per the person on the service desk then does a bit of research. They, they start digging around. They start looking at, about this piece of software. Maybe they go to, to a vendor's website. And they find out, oh, yeah, someone else has had this kind of problem before. And the resolution is um, a patch or a hot fix or, or some kind of update of, of some kind. So the value chain activity there is around deliver and support. The practice is, is incident. Um, and um, it, it, the, the, this scenario then continues on. So maybe then the second line support contacts the particular user and says okay well you know we we've we've worked out what the problem is and to resolve this we need to apply a service pack or a hot fix or, or an extra piece of software or, or the extra module on onto the actual piece of software that, that you're using and this will resolve the issue so um in that particular example you're touching on the deliver and support you're talking about uh, about obtaining and building so that service pack as, as the example there you've had to go to a third party website to get that piece of software that hotfix uh, in in order to 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 resolve this issue and then the engage bit is is you're you're talking uh, to, to to the particular user so practices so if you think that through you've got incident management you've got service request management you've got deployment management you've got validation and and testing so following this journey on the the user then says oh okay all right well you know i'll i'll install this this patch or, or this fix and then they test it to see whether that resolves the issue um, and the the service desk agent might then for example just check that has this actually fixed the issue um, and, and they would they would check that the user is is satisfied. So that's your deliver and support piece. Your practices would be incident management, service validation, testing, 
service request management. So let's say in this particular scenario, that's now resolved the problem. So the software that wasn't working before, it wasn't working correctly, it now can work. So whatever, the, whatever the, our fictional user was trying to do within the software and couldn't for whatever reason, by applying this patch to it, it's fixed it. By this hot fix or whatever it may be has, has resolved it. That's your value bit. So that's in terms of the service value chain, you would see that at, at the end on sort of the furthest right, if you like. That's the value you then delivered. So if we if we follow through just a couple couple of other uh, other items post that so perhaps <clears throat> perhaps the uh, service desk function may have a customer satisfaction a CSAT process that says okay well we send out satisfaction surveys we email it out maybe as an example or perhaps it's added to to, to the end of the closure request for for a ticket and that asks about how did we do did it fix it is everything okay what was your experience was it a good experience was it a bad experience did we do it quick enough you know lot, 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 lots of different kind of pieces of information and that information is then passed back into IT to look at trends um, perhaps there's some comments there as well all of that's fed back into the service desk function back to the service desk manager for consideration so the engage and improve element is, is, is there and your practices, service desk, clearly, incident management, but also continual improvement now. So CI practice. And then, and then finally, perhaps from a proactive perspective, the second line support teams have identified, yes, this is gonna affect everybody who's using that piece of software. So we need to we need to test this new version of the software. So the core software with this with this service pack or with this this um, hot fix, and we need to make that available to everybody, not just the, the person who happened to spot it and, and phone up. So there's an upgrade that needs to be considered to replace the existing uh, version of of the software and it needs to be deployed in, in a controlled and a managed and a safe, in a safe way. So if you think that through, that's the improve element of your service value chain and practices would be, as you might expect, continual improvement, service validation and testing, service request management, management release management and deployment management. So just really kind of talking through a real world example of a user, they have a problem with a, in this case, a third party piece of software, and then going through that value chain and, and just looking at where are all the touch points in, in, your, in your pie dot of, 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 of service value chain. I hope that's of use, please, do subscribe uh, and like and hit the bell so um, you, you're kept up to date on, uh, on other videos and other information that I post. Thank you.